Let's talk nutrition. Just look at your screen and you'll see the many interesting words that we'll be looking at today. Chlorophyll, saprophytic, active transport, water, minerals, osmosis, heterotrophic, glucose, and of course, you're seeing some formulas on screen, all of which we are going to be exploring. Stay with me. Nutrition is a characteristic of all living things. Hence, they must obtain or make food to stay alive. But where does all this food come from? And how is it made? Stay with me as we delve into this topic to find out more about nutrition. In this lesson, I will take you through three types of nutrition. Heterotrophic nutrition, autotrophic nutrition, and of course, saprophytic nutrition. Autotrophic nutrition. Autotrophic nutrition is carried out by plants and some bacteria. Organisms that practice this type of nutrition are called autotroph. We are also observing water moving up the trunk of a plant through the xylem vessel, moving by a process called osmosis. We also observe mineral salts, magnesium and nitrate moving up by the process active transport. If we look at the plant carefully, we would have observed that there is carbon dioxide entering the plant and of course oxygen being given off. This is of course a good example of diffusion. Autotrophs. They use simple inorganic compound like carbon dioxide they obtain from the air, water and mineral salts they obtain from the soil to make organic material food. Example, carbohydrate, protein, and lipids. The sun's light energy is the main source of energy for this process. The food made by plants is used as food for many organisms, including the autotroph themselves. Here we have the plant with fruits and of course the food that is made during photosynthesis is stored in these fruit and of course in various parts of the plant. Another type of nutrition is heterotrophic nutrition. In heterotrophic nutrition, organisms depend on other organisms for food. They consume the organic food material made by plants which are called herbivores. Some consume organic food stored by animals and they are called carnivore. Others consume both organic compounds stored by the plant and animals. These organisms are called omnivore. Your heterotrophic organisms are always going to be animals. However, heterotrophic nutrition can be grouped in three groups. One, Olozoic, two, Parasitic, and three, we're going to have Saprophytic. Olozoic nutrition is a type of nutrition in which organism has a five-step sequence to complete the process of nutrition. First, they do ingestion, then digestion, absorption, assimilation, ejection, and some might even say excretion. Parasitic nutrition. This type of nutrition is interspecies. What does that mean? One organism from one species feeds on another organism from another species. And it includes plants, animal, bacteria, fungi, and even protozoa. They obtain food from the other organism and may even kill the host. That's the organism they are feeding on in their quest to find food. Saprophytic nutrition is one in which organisms feed on the dead remains of other breaking down complex organic substance into smaller components and then absorbing the nutrients. It is important to note in most cases as it were with decomposer, this type of digestion is done outside of the organism. They are very important to nature as they recycle the nutrients trapped in the dead organism, making it available to the environment. Hence, they break down 
complex organic compound into simple inorganic substances and return it to the environment. Saprophytes may be decomposers, example bacteria and fungi, or detritivores, earthworm, wood lice, millipedes. All organisms feeding and dead and decaying organisms are considered to be saprophytes. They break down carbohydrate, protein, lipids, and return trapped inorganic substance to the environment. Be sure to watch our next video on photosynthesis. Please remember to subscribe and when you do, hit that notification bell.